Power dynamics are getting altered in the waters of the Taiwan Strait, and there is a quiet shift in military defense. Taiwan's land sword missile, a lightning-fast innovation, has sparked global concern. While China boasts a massive missile arsenal, Taiwan claims its defenses can intercept 99% of threats, raising eyebrows worldwide. With hypersonic missiles reaching Mach 6 and radar systems detecting objects smaller than basketballs, Taiwan's technology is redefining warfare. Is this Asia's game-changing secret weapon? What's fueling the buzz among military experts? Join us as we find out every shocking detail about Taiwan's air defense systems. Behind Taiwan's quiet mountains, engineers have created something extraordinary, a missile system so precise it hits targets with pinpoint accuracy every single time. The land sword missile, also known as Luchan, proved this during its first ever live test when it successfully struck all three targets within its 15 kilometer range. What makes the land sword special is its smart brain, a complete defense package that works like a watchful guardian. At its heart is the engagement control vehicle, which acts as the command center. This mobile command post talks to the innovative BI radar system, which can spot threats coming from any direction in a complete 360 degree circle. The system isn't just about launching missiles. It's more like a high-tech security camera that never sleeps. It can spot different types of threats, from regular aircraft and helicopters, to tiny drones and sneaky cruise missiles that try to fly under the radar. The BI radar is so sensitive it can track multiple targets at once, giving Taiwan's defenders precious extra minutes to respond. But the land sword doesn't operate in isolation. It's part of an interconnected web of defense systems, working in tandem with the American-made Avenger missiles and twin-mounted Stinger missiles. Together, they function like a well-coordinated team, with each system playing a specific role to safeguard Taiwan's airspace. While the Avengers and Stingers focus on different ranges and threat types, the Land Sword fills a critical middle-range gap, covering distances between 5 and 15 kilometers, zones that were previously vulnerable to attack. This layered approach ensures a more comprehensive and efficient air defense, creating a protective shield that significantly boosts Taiwan's ability to respond to incoming threats. The system's mobility is another key advantage. Unlike older fixed missile sites, the Land Sword can be quickly moved around on its launch vehicle, making it harder for enemies to target. The ammunition carrier travels with the system, ensuring it never runs out of missiles during critical moments. The Land Sword represents a significant achievement for Taiwan's defense industry. By developing this system domestically, Taiwan has reduced its dependence on foreign military technology while creating a defense system specifically tailored to its unique geographical and strategic needs. The system's successful test marks a new chapter in Taiwan's growing ability to defend its airspace with homegrown technology. While Taiwan's land sword missile system stands ready to protect its skies, what's happening right now in the airspace around Taiwan that has military experts increasingly concerned? The skies above Taiwan have become busier and more tense in recent months. Chinese military aircraft are crossing an invisible but important line in the Taiwan Strait more frequently than ever before. This line, known as the Median Line, has served as an unofficial border between China and Taiwan for decades. Recently, 11 Chinese military planes crossed this boundary within just 24 hours. Eight of these aircraft boldly flew directly across the Median Line, while three others entered Taiwan's southwestern air defense zone. The aircraft included both fighter jets and drones, with some flying surprisingly close to Taiwan's northern city of Keelung, just 76 kilometers away, or about the distance of a 45-minute car ride. These weren't the only visitors. During the same period, 18 Chinese military aircraft were detected in Taiwan's Air Defense Identification Zone, a broader area that Taiwan monitors for security. Meanwhile, six Chinese Navy ships patrolled the waters around the island, creating what military experts call a multi-directional pressure approach. Taiwan's response to these activities makes it clear how seriously it takes the situation. Each time Chinese aircraft or ships appear, Taiwan immediately takes action. It scrambles its own aircraft in what it calls combat air patrol, a move to monitor and, if needed, intercept any potential threats. At the same time, Navy ships are sent out to shadow the Chinese vessels, ensuring they are closely tracked. On land, coastal missile defense systems are activated, ready to respond if the situation escalates. 
This constant state of vigilance operates like a carefully planned and rehearsed routine where every move is calculated. However, this is no ordinary drill. The stakes in this high pressure situation are incredibly real and potentially life-changing for the region. In an interesting twist, Taiwan's military recently changed how it reports these incidents. Since January 16th, they've stopped identifying the specific types of Chinese aircraft entering their airspace. This decision wasn't made lightly. Military officials believe that sharing too much information could help China plan better ways to test Taiwan's defenses or use the information to worry Taiwan's citizens. The situation has led to increased surveillance and monitoring efforts from Taiwan's defense forces. They've established new radar stations along the coast and improved their early warning systems to detect aircraft and ships sooner. This continuous cat and mouse game in the Taiwan Strait has become part of daily life for Taiwan's military, requiring constant vigilance and quick responses to maintain the islands of security. With Chinese military activity increasing around Taiwan's borders, how is the island nation responding with what might be its most powerful defensive weapon yet? In a major leap forward for Taiwan's military capabilities, the island has unveiled its newest defensive masterpiece, the Yunfeng-2 hypersonic cruise missile. This advanced weapon, announced for mass production in December 2024, can travel more than 2,000 kilometers, far enough to reach targets deep inside mainland Asia. The missile's speed is what makes it truly remarkable. Flying at Mach 6, or six times the speed of sound, the Yunfeng-2 travels so fast that most current defense systems would struggle to stop it. To put this speed in perspective, it could cross the Taiwan Strait in just a few minutes. But a powerful missile needs a reliable launching system. Taiwan has partnered with the Czech Republic to mount these missiles on specially designed Tatra Force trucks. These aren't ordinary military vehicles. They're massive 12-wheeled machines with built-in computers that help control the missile firing. These mobile launchers are crucial because they can quickly move to different locations, making them harder to target. The Yunfeng-2 builds on the success of its predecessor, the Yunfeng-1. The older version, which can travel between 1,200 kilometers and 2,000 kilometers, is already in service with Taiwan's military. 20 of these missiles, along with 10 mobile launchers, were ordered when production began in 2019. What makes this missile system stand out is its remarkable versatility. While the Yunfeng missiles are primarily designed for defense, the advanced technology they use has opened doors for entirely different applications. Scientists are now exploring how to adapt this cutting-edge system for peaceful purposes, specifically for space exploration. Their goal is to modify the missiles to launch small satellites into orbit, a shift from defense to innovation. If the project succeeds, the modified system could carry satellites weighing between 50 and 200 kilograms into space, placing them in orbit about 500 kilometers above Earth. This development hasn't gone unnoticed by the international community. The United States has shown its support by allocating $567 million for Taiwan's defense needs. This funding helps ensure that Taiwan can continue developing and producing advanced systems like the Yunfeng-2, while also maintaining its other defense capabilities. The Yunfeng-2 represents more than just a missile. It's a symbol of Taiwan's growing ability to develop sophisticated military technology independently. This self-reliance in defense technology is becoming increasingly important for the island nation's security strategy. While Taiwan's Yunfeng-2 represents the cutting edge of missile technology, what remarkable journey through history led to these advanced defense systems? And how did Taiwan build its defensive shield layer by layer? Taiwan's path to military self-reliance begins with the story of the IHOC, meaning the improved homing, all-the-way killer system. This medium-range defender remains the backbone of Taiwan's air defense network, protecting both fixed military bases and mobile units from fast-moving aircraft. Each IHOC site is like a complete defensive neighborhood, featuring multiple radar systems working together, one that pulses signals to find threats, another that sends continuous waves to track them, and a powerful illuminating radar that helps guide missiles to their targets. But Taiwan wanted to create its own defensive weapons too. Then comes the Tian Kung, or Sky Bao, a homegrown missile system designed to replace the aging Nike Hercules rockets. The first version, Tian Kung 1, was built to be flexible. It could be launched from mobile containers or fixed underground silos. Engineers gave it a single-stage solid fuel engine, 
making it reliable and ready to launch at a moment's notice. The next step was the Tiankong 2, which added more power with a two-stage design. What made this system special was its advanced radar, a phased array system that could track multiple threats at once, paired with a special antenna that helped guide missiles with extreme precision. Think of it as having multiple pairs of eyes watching the sky, all working together. For closer threats, Taiwan deployed the Chaparral system, a clever design that put four modified Sidewinder missiles on a tracked vehicle that could quickly move to where it was needed. Working alongside it was the Skyguard, which combined missiles based on the Sparrow design with rapid-firing 35mm guns for extra protection. The newest addition to this short-range family is the Antelope, developed by Taiwan's own scientists starting in July 1995. Building on what they learned from making airborne missiles, they created a system that could be mounted on regular trucks. With an 18-kilometer reach, it specializes in catching low-flying helicopters, fighter jets, and bombers. Each of these systems represents a different chapter in Taiwan's defense story, from relying on imported technology to creating its own solutions. Together, they form layers of protection, each designed to handle different types of threats at different distances, making Taiwan's airspace one of the most closely guarded in Asia. With decades of defense systems protecting Taiwan's skies, how is the island nation adapting its strategy to face modern threats while keeping costs under control? Defending an island nation isn't just about having the best weapons, it's about using them smartly and affordably. Taiwan faces a unique challenge, China has one of the world's largest missile collections, and in a conflict, hundreds of these missiles could be launched at once. Military experts call this a saturation attack, designed to overwhelm defense systems by throwing too many threats at them at the same time. Taiwan's military planners are closely studying recent global conflicts and the lessons they offer. One key example is when Iran launched over 300 drones and missiles at Israel. Despite the overwhelming number of attacks, Israeli defense systems were able to intercept an impressive 99% of them. How did they manage this? The key lay in their use of a layered defense strategy, where different defensive weapons were employed to counter different types of threats. This approach ensured that no single attack could slip through. It's similar to having multiple nets of varying sizes, each designed to catch a different kind of fish. By tailoring their defense systems to handle various threats, whether they're fast-moving missiles or slower drones, Israel was able to mount an effective defense. Taiwan's military is learning from this model, preparing its own multi-layered defense strategies to strengthen its readiness and adaptability in the face of evolving threats. Taiwan is applying this strategy by combining three main defensive layers. Close to the ground, they use Stinger missiles with a five kilometer range. The new land sword system covers a middle distance of up to 15 kilometers. For the highest threats, Patriot III missiles can reach up to 70 kilometers high. But there's a catch. These advanced missiles are expensive. A single advanced missile can cost around $1 million, while the drone it's trying to shoot down might only cost $50,000. It's like using a golden bullet to stop a plastic toy. That's why Taiwan's military experts are suggesting smarter solutions, like using traditional anti-aircraft guns or simpler weapons against basic drones. To make the most of its limited defense budget, Taiwan is focusing on maximizing the effectiveness of its existing systems rather than trying to build new, costly technologies. This means putting a strong emphasis on improving how the different defense systems work together seamlessly. One major step in this direction is upgrading the communication networks that link various military units, ensuring that information flows quickly and accurately between them. Taiwan is also enhancing its command centers to be faster and more efficient in decision-making allowing them to swiftly determine the most appropriate weapon to use against a specific threat. This quick decision-making is crucial in a fast-paced conflict where every second counts. Additionally, Taiwan is investing heavily in advanced early warning radar systems. These radars are designed to detect threats at greater distances, giving military personnel more time to assess and respond to incoming dangers. By improving coordination, communication, and early detection, Taiwan aims to make its defense more nimble and effective, ensuring that it can handle various threats even with limited resources. The military is also training specialists who can quickly repair and maintain these systems, reducing downtime and extending their lifespan. They're creating stockpiles of spare parts and practicing rapid reloading techniques, 
ensuring these expensive systems can keep working even during intense conflicts. This balanced approach, mixing high-tech missiles with simpler weapons, while making sure everything works together smoothly, shows how Taiwan is trying to create an effective defense that won't break the bank. While Taiwan works to balance its defensive capabilities with budget constraints, what bold steps is the island taking to strengthen its military power for the future? Taiwan is taking bold and dramatic steps to strengthen its defensive capabilities, starting with a historic increase in its military spending. The country's defense budget is set to rise from 2% to 2.5% of its gross domestic product, meaning billions of dollars more will be allocated to protect the island. This substantial boost in funding is not just about purchasing new weapons or technology. The additional resources are being channeled into a comprehensive transformation of Taiwan's defense strategy, covering everything from upgrading existing military systems to rethinking the overall approach to national security. This overhaul is focused on enhancing Taiwan's ability to respond quickly and effectively to emerging threats, ensuring that its defense mechanisms are as advanced and efficient as possible. With this investment, Taiwan is clearly signaling its commitment to strengthening its military readiness and fortifying its defenses for the future. One of the most significant changes affects Taiwan's young citizens. Starting in 2024, mandatory military service has been extended from four months to a full year. This longer training period gives new recruits more time to learn advanced skills, from operating sophisticated radar systems to maintaining complex missile launchers. They'll also receive more extensive combat training, including how to respond to various types of attacks and emergencies. The island's missile defense network is getting a major upgrade too. Military planners have identified 12 key missile sites that need modernizing, and they're not wasting any time. All these locations will be equipped with the latest Skybo 3 systems by 2026. These aren't just simple replacements. Each new installation includes advanced radar systems, improved communication networks, and better protection against electronic warfare. Taiwan's Navy is undergoing significant transformation with some truly remarkable changes taking place. At the heart of this naval expansion is the new Tuocheng class Corvette, a vessel so advanced that it's earned the nickname Carrier Killer. These ships are designed to be stealthy, making them difficult to detect on radar, and they can move swiftly even through the toughest, roughest seas. What sets the Tuocheng class Corvette apart is its versatility. Not only can these ships carry powerful anti-ship missiles, making them formidable opponents in naval battles, but they are also equipped with Sky Sword missiles, which can target and shoot down enemy aircraft. This dual capability enhances Taiwan's ability to defend itself against multiple threats at once. Perhaps the most impressive achievement, though, is that these ships were delivered a full year ahead of schedule. This early delivery highlights the rapid progress Taiwan's domestic shipbuilding industry has made in recent years, showcasing the country's ability to build cutting-edge military technology quickly and efficiently. With these advanced ships now in service, Taiwan's Navy is better prepared than ever to protect its waters and deter any potential threats. The focus on building weapons at home rather than buying them from other countries is a key part of Taiwan's strategy. By developing its own military technology, Taiwan ensures it can maintain and upgrade its weapons without depending too much on foreign suppliers. This approach has led to the creation of new research centers and high-tech manufacturing facilities across the island, creating jobs while strengthening national defense. Looking ahead, Taiwan's military is also investing in new technologies like artificial intelligence and cyber defense. They're creating special units trained to protect critical computer networks and developing systems that can quickly detect and respond to electronic attacks. The military is even working on unmanned vehicles, both in the air and at sea, that can help patrol Taiwan's borders without risking soldiers' lives. These changes reflect a deeper shift in Taiwan's defense strategy. Rather than just buying the newest weapons, they're building a more comprehensive defense system that combines well-trained personnel, advanced technology, and smart planning. It's a long-term approach designed to keep Taiwan secure in an increasingly complex world. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there. See you there.